with my high level and luck, searching is pretty accurate and it exercises my wisdom. So um, that's useful for me. Um, even though stethoscope trap, uh, secret door finding is faster, it doesn't exercise wisdom. So I'm just going to try to teleport somewhere random. Yeah. On the off chance that I happened to teleport to the vault, that would have been uh, really helpful. But I didn't. So I'm just going to have to do it the old-fashioned way. Um, I suppose I could like keep track of attempted teleport locations, like play a sort of mini game of battleship. Um, I mean, in practice, I'm sure I'll find the vaults just by digging long before I could possibly... Oh, okay. <laughs> Whatever I was going to say, I guess you can forget about it. Uh, huh. I wonder where this comes out. Okay. No secret doors here. Ah, there it is. Okay. Well, that doesn't really clear up vault possibilities too much. I think the first time I tried to teleport as a vault, I might have gone like here-ish. I'm surprised I didn't land in this room, but I don't think I was way up in the corner either. So I think I'm gonna see if I can. Oh. Maybe, maybe up. No, that didn't work. Okay. Uh, actually, that's as far as I need to dig because I'm three squares away from the edge. So it's one, two, three squares until the edge of the map. So I know it's not possible for the vault to be up there. Okay, I killed it. Missed that message for a second. Um, I might as well eat it since I'm probably getting kind of hungry. it's reasonably unlikely that it's kind of in the middle of the map. I don't think there's a rule against it, but the vaults tend to end up near corners, I find. That might just be, like, the fact that they're not allowed to be near rooms, and it's easier to be far away from rooms when you're in a corner. <sighs> This is definitely the hardest vault I've ever encountered. The hardest to find vault I've ever encountered. Uh, oh shit, acid sphere. Okay, um, I'm not wearing rustable equipment, so it wasn't a big deal. And Dragonbane gives acid resistance. Not that the damage would be too awful. I mean, it would be bad. But I'm a big, strong hobbit. I guess I might as well take this gold. Whatever. Oh, we've got a dwarf on our hands. Hmm. Maybe it found the vault already. I'm just going to kind of let it do its thing for now. There's on the off chance it finds the vault. I think it'll probably pick up the gold and I can follow it along. I can follow along its path, maybe. Gelatinous cube, um, and I'm against a door, and I can't jump since I do not have my light on, which I really need to do. 
Okay, I'm going to see if I can get an action. Okay, few. Um, had an action to run away. And now I can teleport further, which is just great. Activate my lamp immediately and start throwing daggers at it. Um, come on, you know you want to die. There we go. Um, should get some resistances from it. Okay. Um, so you get messages when you're fully resistant to something, but on the off chance you forget, it can be useful to eat a corpse that has lots of resistances. So um, it grants lots of resistances. Um, so this grants four, and I only got messages about feeling warmer, which is cold resistance, and feeling more amplified, which is shock resistance. So I already knew I was fire and sleep resistant, but if I'd forgotten, that would have informed me as well. Um, and you know, it grants me resistances. Much not to love. Um, well, one thing that's not to love is this frickin' level. Okay, this is where the dwarf was hanging about. Mm. I gotta admire that his tunnel tunnels are mostly orthogonally connected. Okay, then never mind. They stopped being so. But for a while they seemed decently constructed for the average encumbered player. Which is nice. Okay, he did find the vaults, wherever it was. And it might have Ludios in it. Still not sure how that works, so I gotta find it. <sighs> um It is annotated as well, so I'm just going to leave it for now. I'm just, yeah, I'm tired of it. Oh, there it is. Dwarf followed through, and Ludios is not here, so the more you know. Um, cannot remember if I have any gold mustache as it is. I do. Nice. Um... Did not work. Put in 294 gold and I'm at 4800. Lock everything up. And. Um, I'm hoping for some corpses. Because I'm not carrying much. So it would be pretty easy to pick one up. And I'm really close to the altar. But these orcs just seem determined not to drop them. Um, I should get one from the warg at least. I think they're large. Oh, and I finally got an archai. Oh, and I can only lift one of them. Mm, what am I even carrying? Nothing like super heavy. It's just Urukais are heavy, I guess. Extremely heavy. Um, look, I'll take it. Um, so I have an uncursed luck stone. Does that matter? I don't remember exactly how Luckstones work in vanilla. I know at the very least with a blessed Luckstone, good luck doesn't time out. And I think for Uncursed, maybe neither kind of luck times out in vanilla. In Evil Hack, luck always times out. Um, Luckstones just slow the process. So that makes sacrificing to get luck um, a little more important throughout the game. I mean, it's not hard to just sacrifice one or two things and pretty much keep your luck as high as you need it to be, but uh, just every once in a while you'll kind of want to stop by and top yourself off. Okay, 
portal is I was thinking about trying to sacrifice it. It would have been difficult because they're super heavy. Uh, but it was peaceful anyway. So it is safe. Um, at least until I finish my quest. Then it might change my mind. Um, I got another saddle, which is cool. And two corpses again, kind of a pain. Um, I don't think I'll have enough time to make two trips before the war gets too old. So I'm going to bring both of them at once and then drop my holding on the altar just so I'm carrying less stuff at once. Maybe that will help. Apparently not. Um, still strained. Um, maybe this would be an okay time to pray for holy water, but a good portion of the potions I'd want to turn into holy water are still upstairs. So, I mean, yeah, whatever. Uh, and I'm just going to go pick up that saddle real quick. Uh, I don't think I'll end up riding, but at least not make a habit of it. There is a Pegasus, um, which is, as you just expect, pretty much a flying horse, um, but it's very fast. Um, it grows up into a greater Pegasus, which is speed 24. Is that the same as a um, war horse? Okay, okay, it's just as fast as a war horse. It's not faster, but it can fly. Um, it has some pretty damaging attacks, and has really high MR. Um, it's actually so high that it's really a pain to haste a greater part Pegasus. I'll keep my light on, actually. Um, so, uh, it, it only generates once, sometimes twice in rare cases, um, in a special branch. Uh, and it, when it starts out, it's just a normal Pegasus until it kills enough monsters, um, and levels up enough to become a greater Pegasus. And you want to make sure you haste it um, before that happens, because as a normal Pegasus, it doesn't have much MR. Um, but as a greater Pegasus, it's like... I don't think it's totally impossible, but it's very difficult to, uh, to haste it. You could still haste it by throwing a potion of speed at it, which does not check MR. But it also abuses your pet, so you might not want to do that, especially if you're not a knight. Um, they do eat uh, their herbivores, so that's a little annoying, but they do eat, unlike a lot of other useful steeds. Um, but it still is not great, um, especially because they're useful enough and also unique, so it's quite possible that you'll want to revive its corpse if you um, if it dies. So you want to keep abuse low so it doesn't so it has a better chance of um, reviving tame. Because again, it has stupid high MR as a greater Pegasus, so once it untames there's pretty much no going back. Um, Maybe you could wish for a figurine of a of a Pegasus and get another tame one that way. Um, and again, maybe. Uh, but if if that was true, then you might as well like wish for a blessed figurine of a Kirin instead, because it's mostly just better than a Pegasus, other than the whole an idiot thing, which, it, you know, isn't necessarily a huge deal. Uh, we have another player monster here. It's a convict. Um, n new role, obviously. Um, I think it started as like an independent patch, which means that a lot of variants have implemented it in some way or another, because it's pretty easy to just kind of dump the code in. 
Um, yeah, so they're a difficult role to play. They're meant to be. Uh, they do get sickness resistance, which is in general pretty hard to get. Um, so that can be nice. Um, but yeah, they're definitely hard at the beginning of the game, and I don't think they're super amazing even at the end. Uh, as player monsters, they're kind of meh as well. Um, specifically, they don't tend to generate with much loot because uh, they're convicts. So they get like a bag of rocks, um, striped t-shirt, of course. Not of course, but yeah, they, they have a striped t-shirt. Um, the occasional other odds and ends. Oh, I'm actually not going to pick this stuff up yet. Uh, forgot to price ID. Well, I didn't forget. I couldn't have done it before now. Um, I should say that I will take out some stuff that I haven't price ID'd yet. Just real quick. Mm. And I'm just going to run up and stop by the general store to see if any of this stuff is good. I actually haven't tried this curved sword yet. Oven long swords can't be forged. Um, I guess I should still see if it's enchanted though. Because that affects whether I want to use it. This I definitely want to check out. Um, I guess it's possible I could use this to forge an oven long sword. So, yeah, I think that's all the things I need to price ID. Um, cool. And, oh, we run into some more zombies. Not hobbit zombies, though, so I can eat them. Um, yeah, it, they never really, unless you have, unless you're an illithid, or you have a greased helmet, um, they never really totally become non-threats, because, where's the general store? Oh, it's over here. Um, because they can always eat your brain, which is pretty dangerous. Um, but the weaker zombies get to the point where it's very difficult not to one-shot them. <laughs> so most of the time they won't get a bite in, and most of the time if they do bite, try to bite you, they'll miss. And most of the time if they do bite you, you're wearing a hard helmet, and they still won't eat your brains. Um, so the odds are extremely in your favor at high levels, but which is why I just went up to them and stabbed them in the face. But properly, I probably should have thrown daggers at them. Um, let's just check again if there's anything we really want right now. I guess I can take an Identify Scroll. That could be useful, and it's cheap. Um, anything else? Oh, I don't have any money. <laughs> well, I might after I sell some stuff, I suppose. Uh, let's price ID. Okay. Um, that's probably negatively enchanted, but all I really know is it's not positively enchanted, so I'm going with less than one. Okay, um, let's just drop some crossbow bolts. I'm not going to drop, like, X and capital X, because they won't be able to differentiate them when they're on the floor. That's a plus one, that's a plus two, that's a plus zero. Okay. So, plus one, plus two, silver is plus zero, and steel is also plus zero. Drop the other crossbow bolt, dart, dart, curved sword, long sword. 
plus zero, plus zero, something. Um, I'm gonna have to check up how much the scimitar costs for that one, but probably plus zero. Uh, that's definitely plus zero, plus zero. So 125 looks like a lot, but their base price is like 50 or something, I believe. Um, no, it's not 50, but their base type is wood, um, which is, I think, four-fifths iron's price. It's a little cheaper than iron, and mithril's five times iron. Uh, maybe wood's more expensive than iron? I don't know. Point is 125, well, 125 times 2 is 250. So, an iron elven longsword, not that it exists, but if it did, would be 50 zork mids, and I think that would probably be slightly more expensive than a wooden one. So I don't think it could be anything but plus zero. Anyway, um, certainly doesn't have a magical property or anything, which is really what I was checking about. Because if it doesn't, then Mithril Katana is definitely better. Um, or unless the Elven Longsword had like a plus seven enchantment, which it doesn't. I think the Elven Short Sword was zero. Yeah, it was. Um, then, all the ammo just happened to be plus zero. I guess properly, I don't technically know that this ammo also isn't negatively enchanted, um, but since it's uncursed, it's pretty unlikely. Um, so, I, yeah, I tend to only use the less than one for stuff that is cursed or of unknown B, you see. Um, finally, the scimitar. Base cost 15. This one's mithril. So 75 would be normal. It was 38. Um, 38 times 2 is 75. So that checks out. Uh, cool. Um, all right. And I don't think I have anything I can just... Oh, I have some more stuff in my bag. I was thinking it was, this was too easy. Um, I'm just going to put this in my bag so I have inventory slots in case that's important. And... Okay, yeah, you can see that these... Well, we'll see. Um, these two don't stack, so if they both cost, like, one Zork mid, then I know that one of them is actually negatively enchanted. Um, cool. Oh, and I have all these rings that I want to price ID. And we're good. Um, I'm kind of running out of things to say, so I might, again, skip past this bit. Okay, all done with price ID. Um, on the weapon side, absolutely nothing of note. Um, in terms of rings, there are some interesting bits. Um, we've got uh, an uncursed 300 ring, which could be polymorph control. Um, we've got a cursed 300, or it could be teleport control, which would be useless to us. Um, and then we've got a cursed 300 ring, which is almost certainly polymorphitis, which is maybe helpful at some point, I don't know. We've got some 200 granite rings. Those are probably teleportitis and, again, useless to us. Um, yeah, that's all the exciting stuff, really. 300 rings are neat um, and may come in handy at some point, but currently, I mean, there's not any guaranteed use out of them in the near future. Uh, so all in all, that was kind of a bust, but I'm glad we did it, because now we know for certain. Um, I'm just going to pick up some random crap that I can hopefully sell for, sell for 36 Zork Mids. Yeah, with a Dwarvish Cloak, I should be fine. Um, and then I'm just going to get this ID scroll. Because next up, I'm planning on getting some Holy Water and uh, blessing my ID scrolls. So I might as well collect as many ID scrolls as I can just to be more efficient. Um, 
So with that, we're going to travel back to Sokoban, pick up our stash, or as much of it as we can, and take that down to our new stash location. Um, and apparently lose health. Bummer. Uh, hopefully, or not hopefully, but maybe I will be able to um, identify Potion of Restorability. Uh, that would be useful both... That would be useful both for restoring my abilities, um, both Dexterity and Constitution are down right now. Um, also useful if I either find a level draining enemy that's not too scary, or if I find a spell book even, or Stormbringer, but that's, you know, super unlikely. Basically, if I find some way of draining my life, then I can do that and then quaff restorability later. Um, and if and I'll have built up my stats by then. So, uh, it'll be helpful. Um, so, I, n I took one of each thing, of each of the ammo things, um, to price ID, and none of it was helpful. <laughs> so, I don't really need to check which ones are which. I'm going to take a couple of darts and arrows since they have nice enchantments, I guess. Actually, there's one thing that was plus two. I forget what it was. I'm going to check that real quick. Okay, an uncursed crossbow bolt was plus two. That was the most exciting thing that I got. Um, so I'm just going to put it in the chest and see which stack it merges with, and then I can take that with me. Um, uh, there's only three of them. Whatever. Um, I'll take the Venom, I'll take Sting. I guess I should take Orcus too. It's not like the... Um, it's not like the artifacts are useful to me, but it feels bad to just leave them behind. We got spare water walking boots, I guess. That's cool. You can always use an apron. I mean, currently I can't, but if I take Dragon Bane off later, then I'll want some possible source of acid resistance. Blessed Elven Chainmail, I was just talking about how I should probably be wearing that. Um, this is just a spare leather in case I need it, and hopefully soon I'll find something significantly better anyway. Uh, food I should probably bring. Tofu blocks is my fruit, so being a vegetarian thing it could be useful for some pets. Definitely want to bring that. Cram rations are really good since they never go bad. Um, I have plenty of food rations. I think I'll skip them for now. I don't really care about fortune cookies. Kelp's vegetarian. Um, I have a fair number of tripe, but I'll take a couple just in case. I don't know. Tins, don't know what they are. They could be useful. Eggs, don't care about. Mm. Scrolls, I obviously want. And I'm going to stop there for now, because this will probably fill up my inventory, yeah. Uh, interesting, so this is called Triangle C, so presumably I've found one that's cursed. That means it might be a bad type, like uh, Amulet of Change it could be, maybe. Um, or Restful Sleep. I don't know if those generate cursed usually. I guess it could be Strangulation, too. Uh, since I might have Polymorph Control, there's a, a reasonable chance that I could Polymorph into a Dragon if I wanted. Um, and... I could always lay some eggs. Uh, which would then hatch as tame. So I think for now I would prefer not to risk being changed into a guy by an amulet of change. Um, anyway, uh, 
so I'm not going to risk putting on the amulet for now. Um, yeah. Otherwise, I might wear ID. Although I guess I've been wear IDing other amulets, which might might have been stupid of me. I can't remember if amulets have changed and they generate as cursed or not. Um, anyway. Uh, I actually, so with my constitution down and my carrying capacity is also dropped. So, considering I, I can put stuff in my bag of holding and reduce its weight by four, I can carry about a hundred units less of stuff without being burdened, which is annoying. Um, Um, but, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm okay with being burdened, I guess. I'm definitely not bring, getting going to be able to get all these potions down without going over a burden, though. Uh, I'm going to bring down the water for holiness. Smoky, I don't think, I think I just have the one, so I probably won't bother blessing it. But if I have more downstairs that I forgot about, maybe I can bless a stack of them. Try to get a wish out of it. Um, and then spell books I definitely don't need to bring down for now. Rings I can bring. I'm gonna leave. Mm, I'm gonna leave cantillation in here for now. I'll probably take them down, but I don't want them just hanging around my pack when I'm putting other stuff inside. Spare stethoscope and unicorn horns are good. I'll just bring my goggles so I don't forget about them later. Lamp is nice. Um, I don't need gems, really. Uh, I'll bring my touchstone. Should, uh, I suppose I should use it to semi-identify all the gems I have up here just so I know which ones are worth bringing around. So I'm going to do that real quick. Probably going to be another skip. Um, we're really getting into the thick of inventory management time. Um, so, lots of stuff to skip over. Okay, we're done with the identifying of gems. Um, nothing really noticeable other than I've got a lot of white gems. Probably one of them is dilithium. Um, and you can use that to make crystal plate mail, which is a pretty good armor, better than in vanilla. Um, it doesn't impede spell casting, so it's much more useful for spell casting characters. But uh, it also provides the same protection as plate, and it's much lighter. So, and also it allows dexterity bonuses to apply. Uh, so, I mean, it could still be decent for me. Um, I and there's a plate armor somewhere around. I should make a note of that. Um, there's that plate armor that the captain had down deep in the dungeon, so I actually should probably try forging that. Um, so yeah, just making a note real quick, steel plate around D level 17-ish, maybe. Close enough. Um, and then what else do we want to bring down with us right away? Not those. Uh, I guess we can just get started on the potions. As many as we can take. Which is apparently quite a few. Um, oh my gosh, we might actually be able to make this in one burden trip. Uh, actually, I'll take a sil silver elven dagger, because it's silver. You never know when that'll come in handy. Um, and I guess this could be used for a long s elven longsword made of mithril, that's not bad. Oh, and of course elven arrows, definitely want to bring those. I guess this too. And this. And this. This is magical even though it's probably fumbling, so could be useful for polypiling. Mummy wrapping is needed. Uh, candles could be helpful.
Um, with all the spell books, I'm pretty sure I won't be able to take everything with me. But I might be able to get everything except the odd spell book, which would be nice. Hmm. Honestly, I might be able to get all my spell books. Eight seventy five. I'm getting close to stressed. Um, stressed is times one point five, so eight seventy five times one point five is thirteen twelve, and I'm at twelve ninety four. Yeah, I want to leave some room for um, being able to pick up stuff if I kill enemies on the way down. So I'm actually going to take out just a handful of spell books. Um, these, why not? Um, I really should be naming these. Okay, these are all level 2, and, and I could feasibly learn or cast them sometime soonish. So I actually would like to bring these down. Um, okay, I'm finally making the switch to naming spellbooks with four letters. I really should have done that a long time ago. But it's happening now. History has been made. Um, I used to name them three letters, and there are some ambiguous cases, like vellum and velvet. Uh, okay, let's look for some other spellbooks that are heavier and therefore higher level, and therefore probably not useful to me. Okay, 50, that's a level 4. Another 50. Four leather. Um, dark brown. Or dark brown, and this is maybe useful. So um, these two give us fifth, uh, 25 open inventory units, which I'd say is plenty. Um, I like to have at least 20 units, like be 20 full units below my cap, because it allows me to pick up potions without immediately becoming burdened. Um, so that's something that's nice to be able to do if you're like near other enemies or in a hurry and want to pick up the potion so that other things don't take it from you, but also don't want to become burdened. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously it's ideal if you just straight up are not burdened. Or, oh, okay, encountering a gelatinous cube while burdened is up there on a list um, on the list of things I do not want to do. Um, worst part is I couldn't drop my bag of holding and just run because it would eat it. I almost took another step forward. Very, very close to fat fingering that. For a second it looked like the cube wasn't there. Okay. Um, should be good now. Very fast. It's not. There we go. Okay. Um... And I'm full of hot air now, so I'm completely cold resistant. Still have a little way to go with shock, but I'm presumably getting up there as well. Um, the gelatinous cube, though, it reminds us that they exist. Uh, I think... Oh, and there's a vault here, too. Maybe this is where Ludios is. Good to know. Um... <laughs> I think I'm going to keep my lamp on and not out of travel, because it would be so, so sad if I ended up next to a gelatinous cube. I guess I won't die because I have um, scrolls of teleport and whatnot. It might paralyze me and kill me pretty much immediately. can't remember if that's possible, if you're not slow. Well, I'm burdened, so I am slow-ish. Anyway. It would be super sad if somehow or another I died um, just because of inventory management uh, errands. So I I really think it's a pain that auto travel doesn't stop when it sees an enemy. Um, but then again, there's pretty much 
there's pretty much always going to be some way in which auto travel will be worse than normal travel. Um, like, for instance, once you have warning, which you presumably will have at some point in the game, do you want auto travel to stop on warned enemies? If it does, then it would be really, really annoying and not work very well. If it didn't, then we'll get trapped in the web. No, I know it's there. Okay, I'm going to jump over it because I know that's possible now. Um, if it didn't stop at warned enemies, then you'd prefer not to use warn. You'd prefer not to use auto travel if possible. So there's really no winning. Um, okay, these could be speed boots, which would be neat. Don't really need it, but would still be neat. Um, Mithril key usually is like the be all end all of uh, unlocking tools. The lightest thing you can get. Um, at 1 AUM, is that right? No, it's 3. So yeah, Mithril keys are good, but as a rogue, I mean a Mithril lockpick would be both lighter and better, because um, rogues use lockpicks with more facility than keys, um, at least at high dexterity, which of course I have. Um, this sack probably has a, yep, yeah, it has a grappling hook and rocks. <laughs> um, Neither are super useful. Uh, still, I mean, there are occasional cases where a grappling hook is useful. Um, so I'm going to keep it around. 